Hello and welcome to section 5. In this section you will learn the most important metrics to compare different attacks. Now you will dive deeper into various adversarial attacks of white box category. You will see how they have been evolving during the latest years, which attack is better to use now and which one is not practically important. How to measure attacks? There are four angles. Misclassification is how good this attack against all examples. Imperceptibility, how hard is to recognize an attack. Robustness, how good this adversarial example is against modifications. And speed, simply how fast the computation is. Misclassification is the first and the most common criteria. And in many research papers, it's the only criteria for comparing results. Misclassification ratio is a percentage of adversarial examples that are successfully misclassified as related to an arbitrary class. It's a common measure, but there are at least two others which are also important. Average confidence of adversarial class, ACAC, the average prediction confidence towards the incorrect class. Average confidence of true class, ACTC, by averaging the prediction confidence of true class, ACTC is used to further evaluate the extent to which attacks escape from the ground truth. The next measure is imperceptibility. It's hard to detect the adversarial modification because you can have an attack with perfect misclassification rate, but it makes no sense when imperceptibility is high and anyone can see your modification. The first and most common measure is average LP distortion. Almost all existing attacks adopt LP norms distance as distortion metric for evaluation. The smaller ALDP, the more imperceptible adversarial examples are. The other measure is average structural similarity, ASS. It's an image-specific measure comparing to LP norms. Structural similarity is considered to be more consistent to human visual perception than LP similarity. The next is perturbation sensitivity distance, or PSD. It's another image-specific measure based on the contrast masking theory. If we deal with the physical examples, robustness is an important measure. The first one is noise tolerance estimation. Noise tolerance reflects the amount of noise that adversarial examples can tolerate while keeping the misclassified class unchanged. Specifically, Noise tolerance calculate the gap between the probability of misclassified class and the maximum probability of all classes. So we have robustness to Gaussian blur, which is image specific measure, which is widely used as a preprocessing stage in computer vision algorithms to reduce noise in images. And robustness to image compression, RIC. It's also image specific measure, which is quite similar to RGB. Speed is another important property especially for most recent attacks. It's not worthy that an attack can work with GPU and can benefit from it. Now you've learned metrics and understand why so many attacks are possible and it's hard to say which one is better. But in general, if you want to have an overall score for all metrics, keep in mind that misclassification rate is the foremost, then imperceptibility and then robustness.